And hey there guys, welcome to the channel, as today we're beginning a new series of the William Wallace Learning Campaign. Now you're probably like, wow, you're going back to this, but I'm like, okay. Either way, please hit subscribe, like, and comment below if you want to see more real campaigns in the future. As eventually I'll be getting onto the Joan of Arc campaign, as well as the Genghis Khan, Saladin, Barbarossa, and El Cid and all that jazz. Either way, let's get on with marching and fighting number one. We are without a leader. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south where Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns to conquer Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. Well, we must act soon if we have any chance of resistance. We need to forge an army by any means necessary. Okay, guys, let's get started. So in the past, I have done this campaign, but I'm back here once again, because I'm a sick fuck. I've done, I swear I've done this series like five times on five different channels, but this time, I don't know. Okay, yeah, this isn't a difficult one, so I'll probably just edit out most of this. Every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Yeah, yeah. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. So yeah, pretty simple. Especially if I've already played this game. Probably like, wow. Now, move to the next flag. Or you're getting nostalgia, one of the two. right click near the flag. Excellent. To move to the next Oh, nice. Troops. walk through the black. Moving into the black area reveals more of the map. The black area represents unexplored territory. That's no all there is to boy. it. Now go on to the next flag where you'll meet some allied soldiers. To move all your soldiers at once, click near the units yeah. and drag around them. Then right click to move them. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Did all your units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Guarded. I like how it says guarded. To zero damage. To the very top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. It's literally just for line of sight. Then click the outpost to attack. The outpost is destroyed. That should slow the English raids. Yeah, okay. Keep following the path to the village. It's gonna do nothing to slow the raids. Home sweet home. But wait. Wait. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack your village. Don't panic. Just click your soldiers and right click Bruh. the English soldiers to attack. The like how these have full armor or full attack. The knight doesn't. It's like there's no way you can lose this unless you delete all your you know units. Fight back against the English army. Yeah. Victory! Boy, that was really difficult. Alright, on to the next one. Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we will need many more recruits. Much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be steeped in the blood of clansmen. Indeed. And then it takes me back to your feeding the army. An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. 
My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we've cobbled together will collapse again. Okay. So yeah, another basic one. To support the Scottish army, you'll need to build up your stockpile of resources. To win, gather 50 food, 50 wood, and 50 gold. To gather food from the forage bush, pick a village. Yeah, you got that, chief. So yeah, real simple campaigns to start. So we uh, slowly gotta wait here for him to fucking gather all this food. I'd like to invite you to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below on whether you've played this game before. And if you have, have you finished all the campaigns yet? Have you ignored this tutorial entirely? Because you were already an RTS champion? Or did you just play Age of Mythology all day instead of playing this game? Those are your choices. Also, let me know about the camera. I, yeah. Because... Just let me know about the camera, because I don't know if it's okay in the corner there. The right-hand corner. I'm not exactly pointing at anything, because you can't do that. I was either thinking of putting it uh, that way, or down there. Because I don't want to block the mini-map. Just because the mini map's more useful than anything. But I found the right hand corner was the most proper place to put the fucking camera. Just because it's not blocking the map, it's not blocking the fucking commands, and it's not blocking the resources. So I thought that was fair, but let me know below. So, uh, how's your day going, guys? Mine's going pretty well. Just waiting here for this campaign to finish up. Most likely, this first episode will be the first three or four campaigns, and then the rest will be their own. 10 to 20 minute videos, because that's what I'm shooting for per episode. But yeah, it should be pretty good. You might not even hear this part when I'm done editing. <laughs> Oh, we can finally build another villager. Oh, joy. Then it's right click a forage bush near the blue flag. Bruh. Good. You found some gold. In the status area at the bottom of the screen, you can see how much food the villager is carrying. The villager continues to gather from the forage bush until he's carrying 10 food. Yeah. The villager will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town center. Do I need to get the 50 food again? Or are you gonna give me my five villagers like I expect? Villagers can gather food, wood, and gold. Okay, yeah, whatever. At least we don't have to get stone. That'd make it way longer than it really has to be. Oh, man. No, oh, we're halfway there. Oh! What is this? Also, if you have any recommendations on what I should do for this game, like what type of videos you'd like to see, please leave them below as well. But I will be sticking to Age of Empires no matter what. I'll just warn you now, I am not a pro online player or anything like that. Not even a pro offline player. But I just like Age of Empires, you know what I mean? Just like relaxing, building a city, building an empire, like the game states. And yeah, 
Joe's Age of Empires 2 is the main thing on this. Thanks. Just because, well, I enjoy the game, and I think I can do all the campaigns. No problem. I mean, I'll probably die a few times during the attempts. Nobody knows. I swear they just gave you more villagers at some point, but th apparently they don't. Maybe if I just kept the 50 food. But whatever, I guess. It's all Gucci. So, if you're gonna recommend me playing online, you can expect me to get murdered, like... Why are you telling me this again, Chief? In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold, and stone stockpiles. Ah, oh, man. The more villagers you have, there you go, a little late. <laughs> Assign your new villagers to gather food. Oh, my God. Oh, man. No good, kid. No good. But, yeah. As I was saying, if you're going to make me play the online games, expect me to die 96% of the time with that one time me being carried by someone. Because I am not quick with hotkeys, I am not fast with building cities, and I don't like 500 pong. Great! You now have 50 food. To win, also gather 50 wood. Bruh. And 50 gold. You're well on your way. Okay, yeah. Victorious. Gather wood. Pick a villager. Goodbye. Edward Longshanks, for all his disrepute, has shown military tactics in Wales, England, and France to be very effective. If not cruel and ruthless, he's indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick upon Tweed. Would that I could call it a battle, but it was truly more of a massacre. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray we can be ready for Long Shanks coming. In villages throughout the Highlands, okay. there is grim talk of skirmishes between Scotland and England. We lost the city of Dunbar this week. Scottish defenders broke ranks and fled. The English have an army that is larger and better trained. To compete with them, we are going to need new recruits to pick up the spear, sword, or bow. We must remake these shepherds into soldiers. Okay. We will need many soldiers to defend our homeland. We'll start by creating villages. Click your town center. Can I just create four militia and be done with it? <laughs> Here, I'll build one to entertain you. Villager button in the lower left corner of the screen. Good job. Try building another house. It takes time for a villager to appear. If your town center is selected, you can see the progress in the status area at the barracks complete. Now you can create soldiers. Click the barracks, then click the create militia. Okay. Each house supports five units. The population indicator at the top of the screen shows your current supportable population. Selecting different buildings or units gives you different options in the lower left corner of the screen. Good job. The villager has appeared next to your town center. Now, create another village. You need additional housing to support your population. To build a house, click a villager. That's one militia you need. Create three more, and you'll have enough soldiers to protect this area and win the scenario. Click yeah. The click the build house button then click where you want to build the house. Click the barrack now that you have a few soldiers. There we go. Too easy. Against English attacks. Oh, God. Now that we have militias stationed across the border, the English have slowed their raids. 
but faceth Longchamp's army will be another matter. The wicked English king has yet to bring his famous longbows to bear. Our militias could only get us so far. We are going to need more advanced weapons. Indeed, research and tech. Rumors creep in from the south of a giant who leads the forces of Scotland, his great sword driving through earth and man and horse alike. If this mythical knight can hold the English advance, it will give us time to develop the arms we need. Even now, our smiths are forging swords, and fletchers are making arrows and crossbow bolts. New but they don't stand any chance. Scrub militia. Yeah, I already got that, Chief. Create some extra militia units at the barracks. No, oh, we're good. We Gucci. Another way, another dead easy campaign. As long as we get some food and we have enough gold, I think we'll be done this in about three seconds. Okay, maybe three minutes. So please tell me, what is your favorite campaign from this game? Because mine... Let me think, what would mine be? Hmm. Oh my god, not the fucking William Wallace campaign at this pace, I know that. But I digress. Okay, what do I need to do? Upgrading to man at arms will change all your militia units to the more powerful. Oh, wow. Near the mini map at the lower right corner of the screen is the idle villager button. Click yeah, no idle villagers because I'm not a scrub with like 10 villagers. I can manage that, I think. You can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Okay, get to work. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're gonna die anyhow. It doesn't matter. Don't even need a blacksmith. Come on, villagers, get them. <laughs> Who needs men at arms when you got villagers? I'm not quite Spanish villagers, so we're not winning. Spanish villagers OP. Yeah. And our villagers. Alright, we're done here. Thanks. City apart. Worse, he's captured the fabled Stone of Scone and declared himself King of Scotland. If we cannot bring about a victory in battle soon, then the Scottish armies will be too demoralized to put up any fight at all. If this mythical Scottish giant does exist, I wish he'd get his forces up to Stirling, where we shall next do battle. <laughs>